Bowman here from bw1.com. We're going to do another Windows 8 tip here. And this Windows 8 tip is all about backing up your files using the built-in Windows 8 software. It's pretty cool that they have it built in here. They had it also built into Windows 7. And then this file, the, the feature is so similar that it pretty much carries the same name. So when you get to the start screen here, first thing you want to do is you want to start typing in Windows 7. And then you actually want to switch from apps down here over to search to settings. You bring that up, you'll see Windows 7 file recovery. Click on, click on that, opens up to where you can control your backup settings for all your files. And now this is specifically for files. It isn't like backing up your computer using a system image. I'm going to show you how that works in a different video. This is all about backing up specific files, settings, things like that. So you see I've already done a backup here, but I'm actually going to show you kind of how to set up a backup. So we're going to hit click on change settings. And it's going to start Windows backup. And this is basically what you'll see is a set up the, the setup backup sort of process here. And first thing it's going to ask you is where do you want to save your backup? You can save to any local drive on the system. You can also save on the network as well too. So if you have a network drive attached to your home network, you can save to there. I'm going to hit next here. And you have two options. You can let Windows choose how it wants to back files up. It'll back up your libraries on the, and files on the desktop, default Windows folders, and also create a system image as well too. You can also click on let me choose, which is what we're going to do here. So when you can let me choose. You can choose specifically which files you actually want to have backed up. And then from there, you can see, you can choose, like I said, you can choose different files you want to back up. It already has some data files select pre-select for you but you can go through your drive you want to go through your local CA you want to back up Intel Nvidia Nvidia folders like this you can check those boxes and it'll include that in the backup you can also check this box which includes the system image if you want to do that as well too it image all the drives on your system basically take a snapshot of exactly how your computer is set up and you can back that up to another uh, drive if you want to as well and once you hit on next the backup process will begin We'll hit, hit cancel here. Once the backup process completes, you'll see you can check your backup results. And you can see here it skips some files. When you hit options, you can view the skip files and it'll bring up Notepad to view the skip files here. And um, also, you can see you, well, what location you backed it up to. You can hit backup now to start a new backup and the backup size specifically. Hit manage space here. And if you hit that, you can manage sort of the size of your backup, data file backup, system image, other files, free space, total space. You can view your backups if you want to delete one over another one because from this point forward every time it backs up it's backing up incremental data as it goes along so it's not going to back up everything all, all, all the way through the same time so I'm going to back up what changes were made with it and um, for here and now once you've kind of have everything backed up maybe at one point you want to do a restore and you can do that down here using the restore settings you can uh, hit restore all users select another backup to restore files from if you want to you click on restore my files all files will be restored to the latest versions. You can choose specifically a date that you want to, you want to re recover your files from. You can do a search. You can browse for files. Hit in on that. Go through here. You can browse specific files. You can browse specific folders that you want to restore as well too. And you'll notice that it has the date of uh, when that backup was created, the last time it was created. So it's pretty cool to have that as well. Click on that and you can restore it just as easily. So if we want to restore specifically, let's say this, this music folder here, even though there's nothing in it. You can hit next and it'll go through. You can ask if it wants to restore in a little location or in a specific location. We'll uh, just save it here to the, let's see, to the um, desktop. So we'll go C, users, my profile, desktop. We'll just save it there. Hit restore. And your files restore. And you can see right over here in the corner, it's restored all the files from that public music folder which isn't much in here anyways so you guys kind of get the idea of the backup and recover features within Windows 8 I highly recommend using this especially for um for, for for people that are using laptops or anything like that, especially nowadays, that a lot of laptops are coming with uh, built-in storage onto it, where you can't you know remove it. Like the the SSD is pretty much soldered onto the motherboard, and it's going to be really hard to back up, especially if your computer dies. So definitely doing backups, incremental backups, and backing up your software is really software and, and files is really important here. So definitely take a look at uh, Windows Seven, uh, Windows Eight. Uh, file recovery here, Windows 7 file recovery, what it's called within Windows 8. And Windows 7 has a similar feature as well too. So if you're on Windows 7 and Windows 8, definitely set this up and get this going for you. It's going to be a lifesaver. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check us out on all the, all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Also um, be sure to check us out on our main website at BW1.com. The link to all of that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.